Good morning, everybody. Having a good day? I hope so. Let's start with the word of prayer and then we'll get into our lesson, okay? Father, thank you for your goodness in each one of our students. Thank you for um, the big person that's helping today. Help us as we have our lesson. Help the kids to listen and give them a desire to work hard. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's go over our verses. So everybody stand up, please. Everybody on your feet. Okay, here we go. First, ver first verse is the letter G. G, 1 John 4, 8, God is love. This month our verse is on being a hard worker, Ecclesiastes 9, 10. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. Okay, this week's verse. Oops. Okay, I'm back. This week's verse is for the letter H. It's found in Exodus 20, verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother. Let's say it two more times, please. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. Okay. We're talking about being a hard worker. And yesterday we talked about um, when you're a hard worker, it honors your parents, shows honors them and respect, right? What I want to talk to you about today is being a hard worker is how we get things done in life, right? Um, first of all, it's how your parents earn money, right? They work hard at whatever their job is, and then because of that, they're paid. And then the money that they earn, that they're given, then they can buy you things. But what if your mom and dad don't feel like working hard today? They eh, I don't feel like going into work. Are they going to get paid? And if they do that too many times, is that person going to let them work for them? No, no. So if you're lazy, you won't be able to get a good job. And if people find out, oh, he quit that job, oh, he quit that, oh, he doesn't show up, they're not going to hire you. When you go for a job, you have to give what's called a reference. You have to give the names of two or three people who will say, oh, this person's a hard worker, or this person is honest, or this person is something else. And when you go to go to ask for a job, the person will say, I need to see your references. Those are the people who can say what your character is like. Now, if you don't have anybody that can say that, oh, he's a hard worker, he's honest, she is a happy person, if you don't have people like that that can say that about you, you know what? You're not going to get a you're not going to get a job. Mm -mm. No, you need to have people that can say, oh, that you want to hire that person. They'll work really well for you. That's the kind of people that you need. Mm -hmm. Yep. So what do you? Okay. So you need to be a hard worker so that you get a good job and then keep it. But if you, but also when you go to job, they'll say, where did you work before? And you have to write down all the places that you worked. And then they'll call them on the phone and say, what kind of a person was was this man or this woman? And say, oh, they didn't show up for work. Oh, that person stole from me. Oh, that person was lazy. Oh, that person sat around and played on their cell phone instead of working. Now, if that's the case, will this new person want to hire you? No, you won't be able to get a good job and then you won't have money. Then you won't be able to buy things like a house, a car, clothes, food, electricity. Um, if, you, if you have children, you're not going to be able to buy things for them and send them to school. And then you're going to be going, Mr. Mark, I need money. Mr. Mark, I need food. Mama, I need Daddy, mm-hmm. No, no. So being a hard worker, first of all, is how we earn money so we can get things that we need. But it's also how things get done, right? We, If, if you um, want a house, you want somebody that is a hard worker and does a good job, right? And I told you last week about how the people that made our houses weren't hard workers. They were a big mess. Um, sometimes when people make cars, they're not, a, they don't do a good job. And then you buy a car and it doesn't work right. And it's always breaking down. Mm -hmm. 
But you want to be able to buy things, right? You want to be able to buy bread or rice or beans or pencils or paper or toys, right? Somebody has to make them. Somebody has to plant. Somebody has to harvest. Somebody has to stock the shelves on the store. Somebody has to drive the truck to deliver it. There's a lot of different people all along the line that so that you can get the things that you want. They don't just magically appear on the shelves of the store. And there's nothing worse than going into the store and needing something and, oh, sorry, we don't have that. Oh, no, we don't have that. Oh, no, we don't have that one either. Well, they didn't make that. It used to be at Christmas time, bimbo bread shut down for two weeks. And two weeks at Christmas, you could not buy bimbo bread. And that's the bread I really liked. And at the time, it was either that or pan moldy. And I don't like pan moldy. Blah. Yeah, so what we had to do was get extra, extra bread and put it in our freezer so that when those two weeks when bimbo bread didn't work, we would still have food. We would still have bread. It's tough when bimbo doesn't work. Or sometimes, sometimes people at bimbo aren't careful and they're not careful and stuff gets into the bread and it tastes terrible. Or here's another thing. Sometimes the milk or your queso tastes like poo-poo. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. But when people milk the cows, okay, they, they have a machine that they put on the cows. But what they have to do before they do that is wash what we call, you know, the, the part of the cow that's like this. We call that the udder. They have to wash that first before they put the milker on Okay, if they don't, all that poo-poo that's on the bottom of the cow gets into your milk. And I don't know if you've ever tasted milk or queso. I don't eat Honduran cheese. I only eat cheese that comes from the United States because the cheese, the cheese that comes from Honduras tastes like poo-poo. Blech, I don't like it. But why? And I don't like Honduran milk. No, because why? The people are lazy and they don't wash they don't wash the udders, and then that poo-poo, you know, because the cow lays down and poop and stuff, that gets in the milk. Why? Because somebody's too lazy to wash them. Oh, nobody will know. Oh, yes, they will. The, the milk tastes bleh, and the cheese tastes bleh. I only buy cheese that comes from the United States. Mm -hmm. Yep, not Honduran. Why? Because people are lazy. They're not hard workers. They don't care. Mm -mm. So what do you need to do? What do you need to do? You need to be a hard worker so you can get a good job, earn money to buy things, but also so that people will depend on you. You might repair cars. You might do a lot of things. There's nothing worse than taking something to be fixed and the person said, I'll have it ready for tomorrow. You go in tomorrow, it's not there. You go next week, oh, it's not there. The next week, oh, we're not done yet. Hard work is how we get things done. And if it's not done, we get really angry, right? Be a hard worker. One more thing. So it's how you have money to buy things. Is how we get things done. And one more thing. I think I'll save that one for tomorrow. Okay, can we say that one for tomorrow? Let's say that one for tomorrow. But yes, be a hard worker. People will depend on you, your children when you're grown up, maybe your wife, your husband, um, your job, okay? Learn now to be a hard worker so that you'll be one when you're all grown up. Our verse this week is honor thy father and thy mother. Okay, if you're lazy now, right? That's gonna be bad. But when you're grown up and you have children, what are you going to be doing? Mama, a you to me. Mama, a you to me. Mama, mama. Does that honor your mama? No. She, it, she had her turn a long time ago to deal with little children. She doesn't want to take care of your children because you're too lazy to get a job. Oh, no, 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 no. Honor thy father and thy mother. Be a hard worker now. So when you're grown up, you'll be a hard worker then. Okay? We'll talk more tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have a good one.